Okay, that was fast. <laughs> I like how it, the game just boots off immediately. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's been a little bit since we played a funny Wahoo Man game, but we're finally back, and um, because it's a Mario game, I have um, the two goofy goobers with me again. And how do I, how the heck does this work? <laughs> um, yeah, this is gonna be. You, you, how are you doing that? Actually, is it? <laughs> um, yeah, this is. Wait, okay, first off, uh, who should we have? Mero. That's boring, though. No? <laughs> well, screw you too. Mario. Fine. <laughs> Good, he gets it. Yeah, so this is on 3D All Stars, so this is gonna be a little bit weird. I, I have played a little bit of this, as you can see from the uh, Yoshi profile, but I basically did nothing of the game. <laughs> so he's not even in this game. <laughs> Probably just yeah. did it as like a uh, control test. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just wanted to see how this like version played because yeah, we are playing on 3D All Stars and uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. How, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, it's not too much of a struggle, but we'll see. Mario is an HD words. baby, <laughs> and uh, Scrappy's our story time uh, uh, person, so you can do the voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just recovered from a sword throat, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, hi, Toadette. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. Yeah, that's like the only time you see Toadette in this. Yeah, right. The Toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. I love this little storybook thing, it's very, very cute. <laughs> it should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom, and then the Fire Nation attacked. God damn it, I was gonna make that joke! <laughs> <laughs> that was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Hi, Peach. waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something yeah, like she actually says it. <laughs> yeah, it's really Screw quiet. me. It's really quiet though. You probably couldn't hear it. Um, oh boy, Mario gonna get some. <laughs> yeah. I, yes, cake. Uh, funny thing, um, yeah. the, um, <laughs> I remember seeing a random Twitter post of just, um, it's just a letter from Peach, but it's just like, <laughs> you're, you're getting arrested, Mario. The Toad police are coming to your door, like, right now. <laughs> Oh, shit, I knew they'd catch up to me. <laughs> yes. And just like Thousand Year Door in Mario 64, <laughs> once again, Mario is the only brother who gets a, an invitation, it seems. Yeah. Well, so I'm gonna, I'm I think gonna... it's our by the way to recenter the yeah. thing. Yeah, since he's playing with the 3D All-Stars, he's playing with the Pro Controller, so he has to use the gyro on there as the uh, pointer. Yeah, you can oh, tell gosh. that this is a uh, building. It works fine enough. I tried it myself. It works fine enough. But you can tell that this was built with a Wii remote in mind. Yeah, at least this looks. At least the game looks pretty good with the AC touch up. Yeah. A lot. Of, a lot was blurry. Yeah, basically just um, more or less what it looked like on um, upscaled emulators or whatever. Uh, Armageddon! I knew it'd come for me eventually. Yeah. The <laughs> The opening in this game is quite a bit more intense compared to, like, what you're used to in Mario. It's, the presentation is, like, ten times, like, like, even more. Like, I don't know. Is this the first time we've seen the airships in a 3D platformer? I think so. 3D? That sounds right. They won't? Yeah, I don't think they were in... Well, actually, there is technically an air Actually, there is airships in, um, uh, Rainbow Ride. I guess. Well, not the Bowser ones, so yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just a generic airship. Yeah. Air semantics. Yeah, I love how they went all out with the presentation. They did, They really didn't need to, but I just love that. <laughs> and the funny Bowser voice from Sunshine is gone. It's just generic, like, growls now. <laughs> which, it's not as funny, but it, it makes more sense. Why can't we ever have a good day? Never, 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 never been a full festival apparently. 
<laughs> I guess we'll see. see. They yeah. If they Can't invited him, right he wouldn't have done this. Well, so these toes never get saved. <laughs> Rip. Um, yes, going back, speaking of Sunshine for a minute, I guess that um, with this game, it got one, one move back from uh, 64, but it also took one move away again. You can't slide anymore, so that's... I mean, it, you don't really need it, but I do wonder why that's the case. Like, Sunshine got rid of the long jump, and in this game got rid of the slide, so I guess you get one back, you lose another one. <laughs> Equivalent exchange. Yeah. Those UFO bottoms are like nipples! A little bit, yeah. I need to I need to ask Bowser's contractor sometime, what's going on? <laughs> what is with this UFO thing anyway? It just kind of appears and doesn't really do much. Like, it doesn't really appear again after this. Well, probably yeah, just, looks... he probably just got just to get his job done. Yeah. Yeah, like this looks honestly too out of place for his tech. <laughs> yeah. It's like he did he contract a Tango to help. Yeah. Uh. Also, we have a Mario game where he goes into space and Tango makes no appearance. Miyamoto, you hack. Oh right, the Mario Land villain. <laughs> that was an interesting door of the of games. Oh, so didn't you do this already in Paper Mario? I was about to make the joke. Well, if you uh, want to go by, um, what was it? Paper Jam Law? Um, the Paper Mario series is like considered a different universe or something. <laughs> None of us knew that at the time. Nintendo, yeah. you hacks. <laughs> I mean, they pr Nintendo probably didn't know that either. It was probably. I imagine that was just something that they randomly thought of and it's just. Okay, fine. <laughs> You know, when you look at the castle scale, it really looks gigantic compared to the planet. <laughs> yeah. I always... To be fair, but... Yeah. And, yeah, it's either Kamek or just a very more generic Magic Koopa that just got to get a lot of screen time. I like I think to imagine... the Magic Koopa. I'd like to imagine this is actually Kamek. Oh, shit! It doesn't really... Alright, how are you still breathing at this point? <laughs> it's very... I... I... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's funny because certain version of Mario can't breathe in space. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, it's funny enough because this one can't breathe in the water. It's uh, they're very off and on with uh, if they want Mario to breathe in space, say, space or not. Because some games he can just do it fine, and other games you actually need like a helmet and stuff. So it's kind of Paper Mario is like very off and on because you have yeah. to do it while you're in space, but when you're on the surface, apparently you don't need it. Yeah, so that it's kind of just whatever the developers want at the time, I guess. Like the thing is with um, um, this game, I I remember seeing some interesting arguments of um, the uh, maybe the Luma is helping Mario breathe in space, which I would I can kind of see that being a thing, but the problem is. Odyssey, like, gets rid of that because he can go to the moon and be fine, so take that for what you will. Power Rangers rules, you can breathe on the moon. Yeah. Uh, yes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So Not like, as much as anything else in my world. Yeah, so this first level is basically just get used to this uh, gravity, um, like, weird spherical planet stuff going on because... Uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of that throughout the game, and... Yeah, the controls do get kind of messy sometimes when you're going around large spheres like that. It's like, it's like a... Although, it's like, it's not as bad as something like, uh... Rouge's level in Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think... Th the fact that Mario's also inherently slower than, like, a Sonic game, obviously, makes it so... Weird issues aren't as, uh, prone to happening, and also, this is... Like... A 2007 game as opposed to like 2001, so there's uh, quite a number of years of hindsight as well. Sonic you catch guys a lot faster. Than... Yeah. You catch these guys a lot faster than I do. <laughs> I don't usually catch these guys this fast either. I could... Sometimes, like, I do that fast, sometimes it takes forever. Um, but. We... So. Yeah. Did we ever get an explanation of why Baby Luma was just hanging around the Mushroom Kingdom? I don't know. I'm assuming it just has to do with the the comet or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, all the uh... Hey, look who it is. Yeah. Holy effing crap, you're on, you're on fire! <laughs> you're a what, top bitch? Yeah. Hello. Hi, Rosalina. Yay, best princess. She's not a princess. Yeah, I... She... Yeah, she kind of isn't. <laughs> She's more She just, just has a crown. <laughs> She's more of just... A princess by name, I guess, but even then... Well, she's, she's even more so. She's more of a queen than anything. <laughs> she's yeah. as much of a princess as Mulan is on a in a Disney line. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's more of just like a mother than anything. Yeah, that's why we everyone just calls her the space mom. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, spoilers, but the I think the last chapter in the storybook is literally called Family, so. Now I get the game really? mechanic. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting uh, because in the Wii, Wii version, it's so weird to say that for this game, um, the original version, I guess, more specifically, is that since you were using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, you did, you had to like spin for the um, spin attack. Well, not spin. Uh, you had to like shake the Wii Remote, um, and you can still do that with the Pro Controller, but you can also just press Y. So that's kind well, of interesting. Are you I'm assuming you're gonna use the the shake. <laughs> um, right now I'm using Y, but I, I might start shaking because they just out of instinct. Habit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And also, this is the one. I think this is also the like. Uh, oh, so yeah, this game also has its um. Uh, as you can hear, its famous orchestral soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, the music's amazing. Yeah, good thing yeah, good thing Nintendo is really good at re-releasing it. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. My brother managed to get the the um like uh, orchestra like disc or whatever. And it's like My I am my cousin had it and they just gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if it has like every track in the game, but it's Oh no 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 wait, no, I didn't have no I didn't have the one for Galaxy One, I had the one for Galaxy Two. Yeah, I I remember the one for Galaxy Two being a lot rare. At least in yeah, I, my I mind. think I had like it, yeah. That's I'll give one. That's one point to get to the to the 3D All Stars collection. It's on the main menu. You can uh, just do the soundtrack freely. Yeah. And apparently, this collection was done in like six months, from what I've heard, which um, that makes explains a lot. That yeah explains a lot. I I I don't like a lot of the uh, practices they did with, with this, like the whole um, only being available for a limited time or whatever. Like, you can which still... I kind of doubt it, which, I kinda, which almost makes me feel like they're lying, because like I, I go to the stores and I still yeah. see them on the rack. Yeah, that's the thing, like, you can still see like copies of this game at, at, at everywhere, so I feel like... That was a lie. <laughs> I mean... Not necessarily a lie, it just didn't sell that stock. Yeah, I feel like they just ended up selling, or like, making, like, so many, uh, copies of the game that it just hasn't run out yet. Um, which, at that point, you know, well, like, at that point, well, like, how well did the, sorry. Wait, what? Well, I was gonna say, how well do you think, well, how well did the 3D also sell? I assume Millions. it, like, yeah, it sold, re it sold really well. Um, well, and if there's, like, or still tons left, like, at that point, why don't, why do you, why would you stop making copies? Like, I feel like that's just stupid. <laughs> but at this yeah. Point, like, I don't want to go part, on... Part of me feels like, I still feel like maybe at this point, it feels like, it feels like a fake fo in case of FOMO, if you will. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of marketing to begin with. Mm. Yeah, it, it's, this is stuff that's been dis discussed, like, like, numerous times online, so I wouldn't harp on it too much, but, rest, I'll, I'll just say that I, I haven't looked on. I haven't looked online at anything about that, but I wonder if anybody else is like saying like, "Well, I keep seeing it in stores, so were they just lying?" <laughs> I don't know. And then there's uh, the other weird thing about it that um, Galaxy Two wasn't put in, into this collection, and yeah, it's just really weird. It feels, it just feels incomplete without it. Yeah. Hey, we got a pa we got we got a grand star. Yay! Which are basically our big stars, and unlike the one at the end of Smart 64, this one actually does count. <laughs> yeah.
But it also, uh, yeah, it, it does only count as like one star though, as opposed to like, I guess, was it the Grand Moons or whatever they're called in Odyssey? What? Aren't those, I thought those kind of, oh, wait, yeah, the, the three moons? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Well, those are, well, you literally see three moons on those. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know. That's like the closest thing the Grand Stars, like, uh, like close to in that game. And now we also got our first sneak peek of the Comet Observatory. Yeah, this is this game's hub world, which we'll talk more about as we go through the game. It's literally just like one room as of now. But you can, well, you can go, technically yeah. explore the whole place, but... Yeah, you can explore like, at least the bottom area, but it's, there's like nothing to really find right now. There's no bathroom in this place, is there? I don't think there is. We have to use the bathroom? <laughs> The pipes have many functions, Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought we were making pipes just to move around. Oh no, they carry a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you well you could have told well you could have fooled me. Mm. It has lost power. <laughs> Yeah, just skip all the dialogue, Harry. Thanks. Oh, well, I, well, 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 I thought, oh, I thought it was like uh, speed reading through it. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know you wanted to like read like Rawr. the actual text. I mean, you can. We if need you to find want. our special one. <laughs> Are you? Uh... I have a request. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> but this observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And, there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. And that green stuff on the ground is called grass. <laughs> <laughs> but the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the terrace. <laughs> Please, go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. Here, you do this one. <laughs> I'm not doing the voice. <laughs> if we do that, we'll be able to restore the common observatory's power to fly like a starship. <laughs> then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> well, well, here we go again. <laughs> God, this feels so good. I think you can just use point like the analog stick on that menu. Probably, yeah. Um. Whee! Okay. That. There's literally no reason to do this, but you can jump to the uh, fountain dome before you're supposed to- You can't actually do anything up there, but it's kind of funny. Uh, the camera doesn't exactly help, though. Oh, well, I In the original, wasn't it like, uh, D-pad? Yeah. Uh. Almost. Wonder why the camera's being so uncooperative. Yeah, it's not usually like this. Uh, did I just, like- Go out a weird angle. It should be like more sideways. This really is a mm. true success of the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason for me to do that. I'll give it like one more try. Yeah, screw it. It's not worth it. Now with the cameras being this uncooperative. Yeah. All right, if you do that crap again, I'm gonna just gonna let you fall next time. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just go. Try me! Well, try me! Yeah. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. What's a galaxy? What? <laughs> and the name of the game! <laughs> once, once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your star pointer thing at the pole star and press A. What's an A? <laughs> oh, God. I tell you, but we, but it'd be censored. We'd have if you to lose kill sight you. of the, if you lose sight of a star, you can reset it with R. Uh, and don't ask you what R is. The Luma literally just gets a gun out. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap the the star directly on the screen. Yeah, that's added. What if Mario like just tapped the blue Luma? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did try playing it in handheld mode for a bit. It's not that bad. Hmm. I've never tried that, so I wouldn't know. So this is your level select for, for the game. 
These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The, number rep the numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the, fur the farther you'll be able to travel. Yeah, so that's basically how it works. Uh, like, the observatory itself isn't really moving throughout the game until, like, the very end. Um, you're just... Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, because we don't have enough star power to move, so... Yeah, so basically what's happening is, like, you're just getting flung further and further away. Yeah, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Yes, okay. So here's the first real level. I don't really count the last level we did as like a, like the first level. Like it kind of is, but it's also not. <laughs> it's more of just a tutorial. But yeah, we'll talk more about it as we go. But this is a really good first stage. Time for the and iconic the theme. Fun. Yep. Yeah, this is like one of the most iconic themes in the in the series. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom. I just, like, it It feels like it, like, makes a statement, if you will. I love it. And especially with, like, the Welcome to the Galaxy text as well. Yeah. That's, uh, since, since we're still talking about the music, I believe it was the- I believe the orchestra is actually just called the Mario Galaxy Orchestra. Yeah, I believe so. It's funny that they had their own, like, specific orchestras for this stuff, because I think they even have that for, like, uh, Mario Kart 8. It, where they have like a specific like orchestra just for that. Yeah, now the the um, Mario stuff, um, at least for the like the platformers and whatnot, they uh, they basically found a uh, good balance between like jazz stuff and like orchestra, which I think works pretty well. Oh, you actually talked to him. I just super jump up there. <laughs> I usually do that too, but we do have to play the stage again for something we'll do later. So that's when I'll do the super jump. See, I just... The Luma speaks the yeah. truth. Money cures all ills. Yeah. Oh, that said, you also really want to gather as much of the star pieces as you can. Yeah. Or star bits, rather. <laughs> yeah, I know they went... Try like a few names before they settled on Star Bits. I think Star Shards was one of the names. Uh, I'm surprised you hit that one. <laughs> yeah, so the hitbox is a little bit generous, but it's not like super big. They look like jelly filled donuts. Like jelly filled donuts. Yeah. God, I literally just said that. <laughs> it's also good to know know this now because because um, I guess spoil uh, spoiler alert for a Mario game, but. Uh, Bowser is gonna end up do, like forming into a rock for his final fight, and um, yeah, you're gonna have to take him out the same way you, you are with these guys. So that's good to know now. What the devil are those things? I don't know. They remind me of the things that like attach oh. to the what to the to the nozzle in Mario Sunshine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I think it's mainly due to like the gravity weirdness. I think it's one of those instances of like the gravity kind of messing with the controls a little bit. Because sometimes Mario will kind of just spin around in the circle a couple of times when I'm just trying to hold up. And um, I don't know if that happens for it, anyone else, but it's it can be a little bit annoying sometimes. It's bad space That's all over again. again. <laughs> uh, okay, how do I shoot Z? Okay, Z up. Now that I don't usually. Oh, wait, is that how you get star bits off them? Uh, well, if you, um, it, okay, so some enemies will actually give you more star bits if you shoot with the, shoot them with it. Like, if you just kill them with a spin, you get one star bit. Mm, I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, uh, otherwise it's... Because I'm very conservative with them. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Okay. Yeah, yes, there is... is a black hole down there. Yes, Mario will die. <laughs> and that pipe there is also a point of interest because, uh, Sometimes in this game, it, very few times, I can only really think of two offhand, but there'll be these, like, odd occasions where there's, like, two pathways to go. It's, it doesn't really change much, but it's just a nice little thing, I guess. Yeah, I just love how, how much variety is in this game, like, because it's, like, you're in space and there's the whole planet 
gimmick going on. You're basically being introduced to new ideas constantly, and it very rarely has a dull moment. Right. And a, As Harry's demonstrating yeah. right there, jumping on enemies will uh, provide coins instead. <laughs> yeah, there's no 100 coin equivalent to this game, so the only reason you'll really do that is to like get life back. Like, they... I think you'll need coins. Yeah, yeah if you want yeah. coins, that's in Mario Galaxy 2. <laughs> yeah, the, the coins are used a lot more in the second game. There's still no 100 like coin stars or anything, but they have a different use for them. Where to go, Mario? Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, it's interesting going back to like early alpha or be beta builds for the game because there was a star bit counter that went to 100, and as far as I'm aware, no one actually managed to get to that like counter um, in the in the demos people played. So, my question is, like, if you got to 100 out of 100, would, would that, like, get, get you a star? Like, was that originally a star requirement, or was that just placeholder stuff? Probably placeholder. Possibly, yeah. You know, is this creature even a villain? Not I don't, not really. Like, Mario prematurely awoken it. Wait. Woke it up from the egg and then just proceeded to hit it. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, just conveniently it had a star. We didn't. He didn't know that. I like. I like how like the uh, 3D games had like um, giant piranha enemies as like one of the first bosses for a while. But there's one. In, there's P piranha in Sunshine. There's Dino piranha in this game, and then there's the one in Galaxy 2, which is interesting, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a long playthrough. Like, um, this is like this and Galaxy Two are like the longest 3D Mario games. Uh, if you're not counting 100%, like Odyssey 100%, because it's still you still how you still have like the 120 star requirement and all that, but. The levels in this game are also way longer than you'd see in 64 or Sunshine, so this is like a pretty lengthy adventure. Guess I'm not reading anymore. Oh, <laughs> do you want? No, no, it's fine. It's, uh, it's fine. I'm drinking water anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm used to just like reading through the text in my head. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You can keep going. Just... Okay. Yeah, the, um... Back we go. The, um... What is it? The... Uh... Uh, thing. What, motion controls. The... I don't... Was pointer. It yeah, well, the pointer... The... Whatever, whatever... Whatever the actual term is called for it, like... Uh... What does a 3DS have? I'm... I feel so sick. screen? No, not, not that. Like, when you... The when you like move it around and like gyroscope, gyroscope, yeah, um, yeah. The gyroscope it works well enough, but it's also it also ends up getting like un it kind of loses focus a lot. Like that's well, probably why they had the R button correction thing. Yeah, because it goes all over the place sometimes, and um, yeah, you just. Thank God, at least there is a correction button. Yeah, it's just workarounds. The it's not really the game's fault. It's just how this technology works. So, right. It also reminds me of. I think they even did that in Skyward Sword HD as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm only giving you this because I hate the taste of honey. <laughs> I uh, the uh, star bits of uh, like. Tastes like honey, apparently. Yeah. We no switch. <laughs> easy joke is easy. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like this. Uh, I like Good, good Air Galaxy because it teaches like beyond what the tutorial level t uh, taught you. It teaches all the 
fundamentals you need to know about the game. Uh, like you have the pool stars, you have the whole like gravity mechanic going on. Like the first planet is like a good example of like just if you want you can just mess around with um, the gravity and how far you can go with like a long jump over a tall platform and stuff like that. To get a witch, I'm kind of surprised you didn't try to um. Uh... What's it called? I'm surprised you didn't try to triple jump onto the house. The house? Yeah, we'll get to that. Because I, I always triple jump up there first. Yeah. This game really likes crystals. Oops. Yeah, I like of the- Of course. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I like I, this I never as well, broke. because it's, um, it's an easy level without uh, feeling brain dead, and like, it, it's a good- intro stage to like ease you into how the game works and you know it, actually so... that, now i'm looking at the life sorry but like i'm looking at the life bar i'm like i just reminded myself that they actually um haven't um not uh they actually been sticking with the free free hits and death in, for, since this game <laughs> yeah um that was actually i think that was mia mo's uh choice because if you, if you again go back to alpha builds or like demos of the game, you did have the like the eight health that would, you would see in like Sunshine, but they put it down to like to three instead, which I think me me and Mo did that. And as a compromise, they had like sometimes you'll have special mushrooms that will give you six health. I get well. I get, to be fair with if you had the full eight hits again, then this, I think it'd be way even easier than it already is. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it was probably the best uh, choice to do that. I mean, because let's be real, this game isn't hard. <laughs> um, Depends on the mission. Yeah. Okay, let me, okay, yeah. let me start over. Um, uh, this game isn't, this game isn't that hard overall. Most of it is fairly comfortable. I feel, I feel like the, uh, overall easiness is a bit over-exaggerated. Um, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I will say Galaxy 2 is a lot harder. <laughs> I feel like, but I, I will say in terms of, like, difficulty, um, I'd say that these two, I, I'd say that Galaxy 1 and 2, um, are overall more, like, I feel like they're more, like, um, consistently challenging than, like, other 3D Mario games, um, but they, I feel like they, they never feel unfair, because I feel like um, 64 and Sunshine, and I, and I guess this, my opinion on this is a little bit skewed nowadays, because personally for me, I don't find those games very hard at all, but I feel like those games are generally easy for the most part, and just have like difficult moments. Whereas I feel Galaxy 1 and 2 has a more natural difficulty curve. Mm. Like, obvi right. Yeah, obviously, like, I don't know, I, I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't really call this game easy, but it, it's also still a Mario game, so it's not going to be, like, ball-bustingly hard. I think it's, like, just the right type of difficulty for a game like this. Just wait until the prankster comments. Oh, uh, we'll yeah. get to that when we get there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess spoilers for my thoughts on Galaxy 2. Um, yeah. <laughs> people were always like, like everyone's posing this game's gonna be so much harder than the first, and I'm like, honestly, they added enough quality of life improvements to the controls and certain things that kind of easier in some respects. I, it, it's interesting. I I have heard some people like find like the second game uh, easier than the first game which I can understand to a degree I personally don't agree but I think they're I think they're pretty similar in terms of difficulty like, it's I, easier if you have a co-op partner because the Luma can actually do much do more in the second game yeah I think what also you helps... have a Luma for one you actually have a Luma for one thing I think it's just a pointer in this one <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I think it also helps that in this game, the because it's more platform focused than 64 and Sunshine were, um, the control the general controls are a lot more floaty, so it's easier to make like precise jumps and whatnot. So that's nice. 
By the way, another thing about I don't know if it's actually necessarily equates to difficulty, but something that we haven't talked about is like, do you know those walls that were like moving up and down and all that? Um, yeah. If Mario gets crushed, that's an instant kill in this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll do this probably just for the LP, but you can just like say screw this and long jump to the star. <laughs> Oh, I do that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I never actually really do this properly, but I'll, I'll just do it for the sake of the playthrough. Oh gosh, I'm getting sick. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also infinitely harder to do it properly because they don't have... Just the way the pool stars are, like, laid out makes it so you have to make kind of like a... Trek like shot this is busy it. work. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We really gotta emphasize that gravity stuff. Yeah, the, they play a lot more with the pool stars in this game. In in the second game, they don't. I mean, they still use them, but it's nowhere near as frequent. Yes, there are a few um first installment oddities that are mostly only in this game or only really prominent in this game. Yeah, like those vibration crystals that I don't think are in Galaxy Two. It's mm. been a while though. I kind of think about that. It it, 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 that sounds right. Yeah. The game has been saved. Hooray! And I can hear myself. Uh, have, a, have a level as well. Well, we're gonna clear out the galaxy because yeah. we can. Yeah. Yes, folks, as you've probably noticed that the number of stars per level has been sort of streamlined because of yeah. a certain feature that we'll get to later in this game. Yeah, because, um, yeah, 64, counting the 100 coin star, you have, uh, 7 stars in every level, and Sunshine had, like, or like, 13 <laughs> or something. <laughs> like, you had the 8 regular shines, then you had the 100 coin shine, and then you have, I think, 2, um, secret shines. Or something like that, so there was a lot in every level. Um, yeah, Sunshine, I mean, yeah, admittedly Sunshine had fewer levels, but they had yeah. fewer levels and they still felt the need to hit the arbitrary 120 number. Yeah, I can triple jump like, up there, but I do want to show this off. Like, like Sunshine, why 120? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, technically 64 has 121, but it doesn't count the last one. I think I think that's mainly because the game just kind of stops after the credits. Like it, I feel like if they did count it, then you'll never have all the stars because it just always resets. Why do they put that thing all the way over there? I don't know. <laughs> to make you rush. Yeah. So I think it's meant to be like Yoshi's house or something. No. Okay, I guess. No, that's my. No, that's no, that's got. No, I think that's a. Uh... Oh yeah, it's just some random house, I guess. I think you're thinking. I think you're thinking of Galaxy Two. Yeah, I know that's the case in Galaxy Two, but I'm sure if it was the same thing. Here. I also just kind of presumed it was the house of those blue mushroom creatures that we murdered. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yay. We. And this is the official little introduction of the Toad Brigade. Yeah, whether I they're mean, meant to be the Toad, like whether they're meant to be the Toads from Sunshine, is not officially confirmed. I mean, oh, I didn't know. That, oh, I didn't know that was up there. Yeah, I mean, thanks to the cameras, hard to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, I always just assumed the Toads from Sunshine were just generic Toads. <laughs> I mean, besides Toads Worth, obviously. Which is... What? What's this? Thank you. Paint like goop. It's, it's moving. moving! No, no, boys. No, no, boys! Stuff. Don't touch that stuff! <laughs> yeah. They... Sunshine is like Toadsworth... Toadsworth's like once and only appearance in the 3D games as far as I'm aware. Which is a bit odd, but okay. Well, the mainline 3D stuff, yeah, because I, I know it's in a few spin-offs. Yeah, yeah, that's what... The, the 3D platform is more specifically. Yeah. Oh, he's hell. He's your MC in Mario Party Seven. Oh yeah, that's right. I do like how the GameCube Mario Party's kind of had like some uh, continuity in quotes going on, whereas like there's a lot of elements in those games that carry over from each other with the whole like Egad and all that stuff. 
Like codes I think you're not supposed. To, I think I think the game didn't want you to kill him like that because so so you can do the rainbow star. Yeah. Just basically just a fancy version of in, uh, ra regular invincibility star. Sounds like the 64 version. Yeah. I mean, 64 you had like Metal Mario, which like that theme's great. <laughs> I just love dun, the sense dun, of power dun. you get with that thing. Yeah, this, game, but this game just looks gorgeous for, like, the time. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot how aggressive the uh, bullet bills are in this one. <laughs> yeah. And they... Because they actually home in. <laughs> yeah, the, there's... I know that in, in the 64, there's only, like, one in the whole game, and it looks, like, really goofy. <laughs> I don't remember where they were to see bullet bills. Uh, weren't we just in nighttime? And now... Yeah. It's like that was like just a randomly blue sky area. Yeah. Yeah, they do use like the... Like the, um, space. Um, like... First, like, was it the skybox, I guess? Which... Space box. <laughs> yeah. Space box. Uh it's an Xbox, but in space. Uh, so I think you can do this. Yeah. You can do like a I lot keep of... learning. I keep learning stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of just random things you can do to get random star bits. And you're gonna need like as many as you can get. You know, considering how close they are that black hole, I'm surprised the ship didn't get pulled in. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's a fair point. Maybe they. Uh, Maybe the airships are built with their own. Some they have some kind of gravity device within them to help them stay steady. Mm. Oh, it's a black hole. <laughs> yeah, this is like the weakest black holes I've, I've ever seen. <laughs> oh god. I don't think this will give you star bits because it's like right next to the launch door. Yeah. You know, I I cannot name like a single new enemy in this game. I'm not sure why. I don't- I just call those- I just call those blue things Octoroks. <laughs> I think they're called- I mean, called like Octo Goombas or something. Yeah, you can get- shoot these. One funny thing actually, um, is you- you can actually like, uh, I guess for lack of a better term, save yourself from death in a way. If you get hit, like, and go to like zero health, and but you land on a coin, you, you will, like, stay alive. It's kind of funny. This looks oddly reminiscent of Bowser's hot tub battle in Sunshine. <laughs> Kinda. Now you mention it, I wonder, I wonder if the, that was, like, the intention. I don't know. I don't know dude. How dare you ruin my vacation? <laughs> Mario! How dare you ruin my vacation? Yeah. I guess with uh, this boss fight, that also reminds me of something else in the uh, demo, like the E3 demo. Apparently, I, I'm pretty sure this is just a thing for that demo specifically. I don't, um, I can't imagine this was ever planned to be a thing in the actual game. But you could choose between like three different pathways, and each one of them would like eventually send you to a, a boss fight. Um, I remember seeing like one of them. And ended up with you fighting a uh, King Caliente, which is who we just fought. One of I'm them. I'm gonna run with Dino Piranha. I don't know, but I know one of them was um, the Spider Boss. Hmm. Spider Boss, Spider Boss, does whatever a Spider Boss does. 